All right, so the submissions have finished, and you can see uh, the submission um, statuses over here. A lot of success messages, but we also ran into a few failures as well. Um, and let me show you that uh, a little something that's kind of cool here. These are actually clickable links, so if we click the success message, um, we can verify to see if it was submitted. And it takes a little digging, but you'll see right here, link submitted and awaiting approval. So you can tell that um, the software actually submitted the link. Now the software can't give you the URL of where this backlink will exist because it's awaiting approval, so that doesn't even exist yet. Um, and there's no connection between the submission process and the actual URL they give it uh, where it sits on their directory. Um, but it does let you know that uh, uh, the URL, URL was accepted and is pending approval. Um, and also you can see here uh, that there's a submit failure error and that's also clickable which can kind of help you diagnose why the submissions failed. And we have a whole video you can watch on that um, on a different YouTube video. Um, now what I would do normally is I just click the failed submission tab which is then going to display all of the directories that failed and now they're all highlighted and I would submit again because um, sometimes these fail due to connection errors um, just random errors that a lot of times these will then the second time through uh, be successes. Now it's just the nature of this business that some of these directories just aren't ever going to work for you uh, at this time and that's because we submit to so many directories uh, and we don't control these directories. We don't own them. They're just directories out on the web. So when you have such a huge list of directories, um, it's bound from time to time. Some directories will be down temporarily, um, will be closed to new submissions temporarily, or you know, there's a whole vast reason of errors uh, why these could show up. So these submit errors don't necessarily mean that Pinkaching had an issue. 90% of the time it's the sites that we submit to are having an issue. And I wouldn't really worry about uh, having a few submit failures. It's not a big deal when you look at the grand scheme of things of, well, you did get, you know, 450 successful, you know, submissions. Uh, 50 really is no big deal. Um, and then in the future, you could always come back, you know, a week later and retry as well because the sites could have been um, come back live or, you know, they could have fixed their errors. Okay, so once you've finished directory submission, you can move on to search engine submission. Now, uh, some people say that, you know, well, search engine submission, you know, what I thought the search engines like to find you other ways, find you through, you know, social bookmarking sites and so on. Um, and through, you know, testing many, many sites, we actually found that uh, search engine submission offers no harm whatsoever to submit your site to the big search engines. But I, I'm not really worried about submitting to the big search engines because they will pick you up through social bookmarking and the other features of the software. But what I really do like is submitting my uh, website to some of these smaller ones like Scrub the Web and Tire Web. You know, some of these ones that don't have as advanced uh, indexing technology. That way you'll get picked up on these smaller en search engines faster. And some of these sites are actually going to offer you a, a backlink as they build a little profile for you. Um, so this does not offer any negative effects but only positive effects and so I will run the entire search engine submission process for my primary root domains. Uh, so we have that going right now and I'm going to again pause the video uh, and let this finish. Okay so the search engine submissions are all completed. Um, you'll see we got all success messages here uh, so that's great. And the last submission type that we offer right now is pinging. Now, uh, for WordPress blog posts, I don't ever use the pinging feature inside Ping Ching. I'll use the pinging feature to ping uh, other people's websites if I did a guest blog or or blog comment. Um, but there's no need to use the pinging feature on a WordPress um, your own WordPress site. And let me show you why. Uh, I'll include this on the training video page, um, but uh, if you go to, into your WP admin under settings and you go to the writing tab, uh, I'll I'll upload this list onto the site. But um, you can upload all these sites to automatically ping. So every time you make a new post on your blog, your WordPress site will actually auto ping. So there'd be no reason then to use the pinging feature 
on your own WordPress site as it would be just redundant. So this would be the features I would use, social bookmarking, RSS distribution, directory submission, and search engine submission for my root domains. Um, and let me show you the impact this is really going to have uh, when you do this. Let me open up my email. And let's look at the amount of confirmation emails we got. So you can see just a ton of sites uh, emailed me uh, over this over a short period of time. And not all of these do you need to actually open or even look at, but there are a few you do. So it's important to give this a good scan. And let me show you how I will uh, scan this. So submission verification, please confirm your submission. So this would be a page I would open and click the link to follow to their site to confirm my submission. Um, your link request, thanks for submitting, thanks for see. So thanks for submitting, I wouldn't need to open, open these at all or even look at them. They're just letting me know my uh, URL was submitted. Um, submission received, so, so I'm just gonna scan this. Uh, and uh, it looks pretty good. There might not be uh, any other sites I need to click. Uh, maybe I do a search. And I would do search for the terms confirm. Please confirm your sub submission. So for me to do that on a Mac, I just hit Command F uh, to find, and I typed in confirm. I don't remember what the command is on a PC, but you could probably Google that, um, or maybe even go up to view or something in your options and do a find. Uh, but then you can just search your inbox for the words confirm, and then you can just click those emails, that, that the URLs in those emails. Let me show you what that looks like. So see, uh, they just want you to click here to confirm your submission, and then that way you're going to get that backlink uh, once that page is indexed. So that works really, really well. And now, uh, this probably saved me, I don't know how many hours to do those directory submissions or how much money. You know, just the directory submissions alone would be about $70. So this has saved me a ton of money, a ton of time. And now my root domain has gotten kind of that stage one link building and authority uh, as simple as, and as fast as that. Before I end this video, I want to walk you guys through the... A sub URL though, because we'll handle this a little bit differently. So this is again as a Pinkaching blog post I did, and I already entered it. So I'm just going to go straight to submission options, and you'll notice uh, some things are grayed out here. And that's again, it's 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 not because the software is broken or anything. It's actually protecting you. And if you leave your mouse over the grayed out, it'll tell you why. Um, you can't submit sub. URLs to directories. You just can't. Uh, directories, 95% of directories do not support sub URLs. They only support the root domain name. Um, so if you were just to bombard these directories, well, first of all, Pinkaching would become a spam tool then because we'd be bombarding these directories uh, with things that clearly violate their terms and conditions. Um, second is if you kept bombarding these directories, they're liable to ban your IP from ever future submitting to them. And your, since they're human edited directories, your sub URL will always be rejected. So there's a lot of downfall and no positives. So the software is simply protecting you. Same with search engine submission. You can't submit sub URLs to search engines. They just want to know about your website, not at each and every page. They'll crawl and find that uh, organically. So for sub URLs, I don't use either of these features. And again, I wouldn't use pinging either for my own blog posts because I would be using that trick I showed you earlier. Um, so pinging again would be for if I was maybe doing a docs top uh, article or something like that where it doesn't auto ping. Um, RSS submissions. Uh, I'm not going to do any RSS submissions for a sub URL because this sub URL sits on the exact same uh, website as my root domain. So they share a single RSS URL. So you can't submit an RSS URL twice. You'd just be spamming them again and, and there's no upside to that. So what I'm left with is social bookmarking and my status updater, which are both very important. Um, so for social bookmarking, 
sometimes I will, if, if it's a good post I did, I will submit it to all the social bookmarking sites. Um, but if, uh, you know, I'm submitting the same article to Docstop, to Scribe, to Issue, so I'm distributing my single article to multiple locations, then I will only submit maybe one bookmark for each URL. And that helps me kind of spread out my footprint a little bit, and there's no reason I need, you know, this many social bookmarking for a single sub URL like that. So in this case, I would just uncheck and maybe do just dig uh, for this primary article. And uh, you'll notice up here, again, I don't know if I mentioned this, you can jump from uh, submission type to submission type, or you can hit this back arrow and go to the big screen uh, where you, then you can jump to the next submission type. And then I could submit to Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr and update my statuses there if I wanted to. Uh, at this time, since it's just a training video, I do not want to. So this has been a training video on the submission options types. Be sure you don't just submit your website you root URL and website posts. You want to be uh, submitting everything you do on the web to Ping Kaching. So your eZine articles, your uh, uh, scribed articles, your Squidoo lenses, your hub pages, your get when you do a guest blog, you know, submit that. Anything you do on the web you want to be indexed and count as a backlink and gain some authority to you want to submit to Ping Kaching, and that's where it's going to save you hundreds of hours. It's going to make sure your backlinks actually show up, because why spend all the work writing an article for it not to show up? And you would not believe that around 80% of the content people put out on the web is not getting indexed and showing up as backlinks. So that's where a tool like Ping Kaching really shines and helps you guys out. All right, I hope this uh, training video has helped you out. Uh, we're going to have more explanations and, and screenshots on the website that's associated with this video. Just simply click the video training icon on any one of these submission pages to get to that uh, page. Thank you very much.